And now we're going to use the DeepSeek R1 model for a RAG based application. So we're going to build everything in Langflow from scratch. And one of the template is going to help us to utilize the RAG based setup. So if we were to look at templates, the vector store RAG, this template will get you started right away on a RAG based setup where the file input is where you can provide your document and it goes through a sequence of steps. We have covered this in some of our videos before, so we're not going to go into details, but the only thing that we're going to be changing here is that the LLM component is the OpenAI based chat model. So this is the only thing we're going to swap out. Now, the other part that is something that's optional is the embeddings. You could utilize any of the providers out there, or you can leave the OpenAI embedding as is. Now for the flow that is at the bottom, this is where we are going to ingest the document. And what I've done is that I have made an Astra account and this is free to get started with and you can make a free account to get started with a database and there you can copy the API endpoint and generate a token and that's exactly what I did and I have added my token here as soon as I added that it pulled the database as well as the collection available this is something I just created I called it science so the key thing here is there were a few records before from previous tests so now I can start and add to the same collection or I can make a new one now just to see how it works in the data explorer I can see that we have about 33 records and this is the updated one if we were to run this flow and then if we were to provide a document we'll notice that the value for the records will change once we refresh the tab so we got 44 records so we know that this is working fine now going back to our flow we're gonna modify the flow on top and this is where we have the lm call and we're gonna swap it out with deep seek so i just brought in the deep seek component by searching for deep seek and then dragging and dropping here connecting the input and the message to the chat output and then i'm going to quickly fill out the info here all right great so i've got that info in and then i have everything else wired up so we are good to go the default question here is what is this document about so now we can run the flow or use it from the playground so let's say for example if we were to use in the playground all right so we got the response back so essentially we're sending the context as well as the question to the deep seek model and we get a response back now if we were to test the reasoning model of course we can swap out with the reasoner and same thing we can go back in or we can run the flow from here so i'm just going to run the flow since we have the question available here and we get a response back and this time we can inspect it through the messages available here and within the text that we receive back we can see that we get a detailed response and this is the reason model so it goes into a bit more details and provides some reasoning